Greenville, the Tar River has crested, but a major flood stage is in effect through the weekend. These new drone images provided to CBS North Carolina show water surrounding dozens of townhomes in the college town. CBS North Carolina's Michael Hyland is in Greenville again tonight with a closer look at the damage that's already been done. Michael? Now that the river is crested, some neighborhoods that were not affected, those roads have been reopened. But for others here, it's still under a mandatory evacuation. Some neighbors were able to come by this neighborhood earlier, remove some sandbags, get inside to see if there was any damage to their apartments. But there are a lot of people who have been affected by this storm here. Now the community is coming together to try to help them through the crisis. From above, you see how widespread the damage is and the massive cleanup effort that will soon begin in Greenville. As the water began to rise and reports came in that people had even died, LaRonda Mason knew she had to get out. You know, I was just telling my husband, like, honey, we got to leave. We have to do something because I don't want it to be us. It could be us. <laughs> She's been staying at this shelter at E.B. Acock Middle School. She's grateful for all the help she's been getting, but in the stress of it all, the days have blurred together. My birthday get ready to come up. I'll be 40. When is this? 15th of October. So, tomorrow. Today's the 14th. Are you serious? <laughs> like, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> With so many people like LaRonda in need, volunteers have been working quickly. We're just trying to box it up and get it ready to go out. This site in Winterville is one of two places where people have been dropping off everything from clothes to cleaning supplies. The community comes together and, and, and supports, uh, supports each other and those that will, that will need help the most once the actual recovery starts. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Students from ECU were among the dozens of volunteers getting everything ready to start distributing on Saturday. Yeah, it's been amazing. You don't really understand the true meaning of community and the true meaning of family, which is what we preach at ECU until something like this happens. It's been wonderful. Everybody been helping hand um, from everywhere, donated so many things for, for the family. And with so many families still in need, the town of Aden, which is about 12 miles south of here, is going to be hosting a Unity Day tomorrow from 9 to noon. It'll be a chance for families who are in need to get a hot meal. They're also going to hold a prayer service at noon. Live in Greenville, Michael Highland, CBS North Carolina.